Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. This is going to be a general collective reading, so please remember to take what resonates and don't manifest the rest. Don't squeeze it if it don't fit. Let's see what's going on here. Come on, big cards. Right off the bat, five of swords, three of cups, and the eight of wands. Definitely a battle. Emperor. It's over here. The Empress. Ooh. So. Mmm. Yeah. Somebody's a big fat liar. And they're being judged for that. So, I do feel like it is like, um... And, and, and I, won't, I, I really don't want to say a battle of the sexes, but it is the emperor uh, lying about the empress. So, because they're in a three-party situation. Okay? So, basically, I feel like the emperor is denying their empress. Let's see what's going on here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, got some trouble in Comicville. Eight of Swords and the Knight of Wands as the challenge. Five of Wands and the Game Master. Everybody, everybody wants to rule the world. Everybody wants to be the boss. So... They're all arguing for the top spot. Especially the Emperor and Empress. And somebody's hacking into somebody else's work. With magic and money. What's new? So, they're trying to hack the success of the Empress. Due to the fact that I, I feel like the Empress might be showing them up a bit. Um, I can only, you know, to each his own. Yeah, factors affect it. Ah, what did I just say? The Emperor and the Empress. And on the, under the Emperor, I have the Seven of Swords. Lying about the Empress because they don't want to admit something uh, about the Empress just yet, I don't think. Like I said, trouble in Comicville. There's a... A three-party situation with the Three of Cups. So... I feel like the Empress is over here just chilling. She ain't even interested in Comicville. That's what... You know, she's, she's over on this side. While... Five of Swords... Comicville. Alright. So the immediate future is the Eight of Cups and the World card. Oh. So the Emperor's lying to the Karmic because they're trying to walk away. They're trying to get their legal situation straightened out while they're trying to walk away. They know that, that whoever this person is, this third party is, is stalking them. So they're, they're like on the hush-hush, on the down low, trying to put things into place while trying to pay attention to what's going on because they know if they if they take their eye off the ball for even a second that this comic energy is going to come Queen of Wands so I do feel like this masculine or this emperor is making plans for the empress 
or to come towards the Empress. We have the star energy as the factor affecting the situation. So the rock star as the challenge and the star as as the factor affecting the situation. And I'm hearing that old the old, the old movie Highlander. There can be only one. <laughs> Two of cups, page of swords. If you're the empress here. Or the emperor, somebody's paying really, really close attention to everything you do. And it, I feel like that's coming from all sides. That might be even friends and family. Because there's a healing taking place here on a global scale. And people are walking away from the things that are no longer emotionally fulfilling. Vogue. Vogue. <laughs> Page of Cups as the outside influence. I feel like there's an apology due here. So far I have Libra Taurus and Aquarius here. The Lovers and the Three of Pentacles. Somebody not only needs to apologize to an empress, but they need to apologize to everybody involved for for um, not seeing the bigger picture. For not seeing the bigger picture here. Very immature page of cups. You know, like, needs to apologize for a couple of things. For possibly collaborating with the wrong person and for uh, collaborating with the wrong person. So they need to be, they need to be fair. They need to be, you know, upright with this synergy. I'm getting an old song, uh, Gemini Energy. You ever heard that song uh, by Jewel? Dreams last for so long, even after you're gone. And I know you love me, and soon I know you will see you were meant for me. I was meant for you. Uh oh, oh. So we have the devil here taking a leap of faith. Capricorn, Aries energy, Cancer, Two of Cups. Somebody's taking a leap of faith. They're obsessed. Obsessed. Because it's like, it's like, okay, so whoever this person is, I'm not saying the Empress because I feel like the Empress is the outside energy here. She may not even know what's going on behind the scenes. And this is kind of a behind the scenes look at what's going on. Because if you're an Empress energy, none of this is happening to you. Okay? You're sitting there in your power, feeding your babies, doing whatever it is you need to do. To continue on your path okay these people are fighting each other some of them are fighting for your attention but there's some apologies that need to be made here if nothing else to each other for and, and forgiveness to each other for not understanding the dynamic of what this is I feel like the Emperor here is a hard head they don't want to apologize to nobody for nothing they just want to keep on doing whatever it is they're doing and not understanding that they're bringing their own drama to their door because they think they're getting away with something here and they're not it's still the two of cups they want to be able to come towards this empress but they're stuck with this karmic or stuck with this karmic energy and all they want is the star. And they know that they're going to have to apologize to that star in order to have it. Which is a healing of two of cups. Six of wands for the win. Cancer, Capricorn, Aries energy. Right in front of me. Aquarius, Libra, Taurus. What is the final outcome, spirit? What is the final outcome? 
Ooh, that's a lot. The lovers, the strength. Ooh. Failure to communicate. So we have the Seven of Pentacles. Somebody's trying to come after your Ten of Pentacles. They failed to secure the Ten of Pentacles. Nine of Cups. Hot dogs and beer. Give me just a second. Okay, so this is this is Leo energy, Gemini energy. Somebody failed to secure something that has to do with this empress in the most recent past. Possibly her inheritance or her and that's just not I mean I mean it is financial because it's the Ten of Pentacles. Why do I feel like somebody's waiting in the shadows here? Somebody's waiting in the shadows to see if your peace is disturbed in some way, shape, or form. Are you juggling your pentacles? Are you having a hard time? Are you know this this is this is ridiculous. But look. So this comic is doing a lot of things behind the scenes. That's why the Emperor is walking away. Because they no longer want to engage on this t attack to the Empress because they just want peace. See, the Empress is just sitting over here in her power, not doing nothing to nobody. Didn't even get themselves involved with whatever's going on with this Five of Swords. So they're not the one experiencing a tower. Everybody's trying to rob them of their destiny, of their of their money, of their time. I mean, everybody's trying to rob them. They think they're they're, they're <laughs> bring me a higher love, please. I mean, if we're gonna go the love route. <clears throat> And, and, and not being, you know, over here by ourselves anymore, because I ain't got the Nine of Pentacles, but I feel like it's Empress is alone, then bring a higher love. This is low vibrational and definitely not worthy of the love that an Empress has to bring to the table. That's the Mama energy. So there's the Three of Swords. One half of these stars is juggling their money because, like I said, they're stuck in Comicville. That is a challenge. So having to overcome not only what they did to an empress, but having to overcome and walk away from friends and karmic energies that have been trying to keep them in the swing swing mode ace of wands good time no you know basically because the knight of wands is there too a good time not a long time like i said this includes family this includes friends and this is person that that is dealing with all of that at once that's why they're stuck in the eight of swords always about the money it's always about the money family and money you can't take it with you what you can take with you is real healed honest to goodness love you can take that with you anywhere take it to heaven with you too Okay. Oh. So, whoever this Queen of Wands is, 
this star, this rock star, whoever they are, has just exposed some kind of selfishness. Ta-da! I see you. Type energy. What do they see? This is what they see. With this Queen of Wands. Now they could they could have tried to say that about you too, viewer, but I don't feel like you're doing anything but sitting over here maybe with your god up going mm-mm, mm-mm. This is what they see. There's a change in the wind. Five of Pentacles, Five of Cups. This person is very disappointed and upset at this karmic energy for their behavior. Five of Wands. That is uh, spreading rumors, gossiping, competing. So this this person's been competing and, and, and depressed and having problems behind the scenes because they, they, they did some risky, risky business here and blocked a perfect match. They blocked it with their drama. So, they, they, they want to keep your person or this emperor in fight or flight mode continuously. So they don't get a chance to come towards you. So we got 555 five, five right there. So something's about to change. Cancer energy. This emperor's just riding, going. It's just a speed bump. I, I, get, I get through it. So they're, they're, they're really going after the money of this empress. All these people, these five, there's five people at least. Five of Cups, Five of Wands, Five of Swords. All coming after this one little old Empress sitting over here, minding their business. Riding on into the sunset. And uh, staying to themselves and sticking in their own lane. So this is, their, this is Hermit energy. This Empress is just concentrating on healing. And, and and doing their due diligence while somebody investigates them, competes with them, gives them hell in Comicville or tries to. I don't think this I don't think this Empress is entertaining anything. I think they're doing their own thing. They're hiding from the the drama with this four of swords. So basically the Empress is in the Four of Swords. The Emperor is in the Three of Swords. And dealing with so much negativity and karma. That they regret. They regret whatever they did here. Or whoever they got involved with. Friends, family, spouses, exes, whatever the case may be. I don't have the Four of Wands yet. But I feel like this person... Maybe with someone else, and they see you, and they it's like they know that that's not, they weren't meant to be where they are. That's why it's so toxic, and, and, and the energy is so bad, because they know they're, they're not meant to be there. They want to go towards this empress. Like I said... This could, you know, this could be somebody you don't even know. But pay attention to what's going on in their life if you don't know them. Nine of Swords, immediate future. <clears throat> they scared. They scared this Empress is going to walk away, especially after this solar eclipse yesterday. Because everything's coming out in the open. And they're scared that they're going to have to face the music here. Because the Empress might just walk away in the world. 
and leave them to their drama that they cause for themselves. You know, um, getting some very particular energy here, but I'm not going to, you know, there's enough of that going on in the media, so I'm not even going to touch on it. But I do feel like that what what this person is dealing with is the is those kind of shady people, you know. They're trying to cover their tracks so they aren't found out. Well, justice is here in the immediate future, and everybody gonna know. Even the Empress. Everybody gonna know what was done in the dark. So yeah, there's a really good chance she's gonna walk away and she's gonna do her own healing. Now, somebody wants to change that. They're gonna have to. They're gonna have to wake up. They're gonna have to step up to the pump. Get the Eight of Pentacles to the star. So, this person's coming towards you, and they're gonna ask you to let Let's work together. Let's work together. They've been doing this for about three months. They've been trying to figure out how to do this. I'd say for the past three months. It is October, ladies and gentlemen. My favorite month of the year. Um, so, we will be having, um, a live stream today at 3, and I'll talk about some stuff there where I'm, I've got some, got some special stuff coming for Halloween and, and, and for this, uh, for this month, for all this month. What'd I say? This person's in love with the star energy. Totally head over heels in love with the star energy. They're trying to figure out a way to come forward. Now, like I said, I don't know who this person is. This could it doesn't look like a past person. I feel like I feel like whoever you are, you have moved on from the past and you are now integrating your future with new relationships new energy new stuff coming in somebody's in love king of cups yeah somebody's gonna apologize for making you defend yourself or hurting you they're scared they don't know how to do this they, they really don't know how to do this that's why it's a page they don't know how to tell you the truth. They don't know how to tell you what they've been doing behind the scenes, but they know they have to. They know that, that, that coming clean is the only way to avoid the karmic justice that is coming for them. Oh, they've, they've been trying to get around. They're still trying to get around it. But they can't. They can't. They wanted to control your new beginning. They can't. Hopes and fears. Wow. This devil's going to take this this obsessive energy is going to take a leap of faith towards the star. A leap of faith towards the star. And send a message. They're hoping you pick up the phone. It, it, I mean, I don't know if they're... Ooh. Yeah, my nails look terrible. Um, so I got the queen. Queen of souls and the... And the, uh, yeah. Um, the four of wands. I did say that earlier, didn't I? About possibly the four of wands being involved and 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 I feel like you viewer are are you know you know that, that that some kind of secrets about to come out about this person maybe even this person in their family and you're over here money you business Look.
So I do feel like there's a mother involved here that's trying to cut you out of this relationship. They don't want you to have this relationship. They're being very, very careless and reckless in the background. Now, they're hoping that they're going to be able to keep... This is, this is this Capricorn, Aries energy. They're hoping that they're going to be able to keep this from the Empress. But that secret's about to be exposed. Libra, Taurus, Pisces, energy. Judgment is Sagittarius in Scorpio. Look who jumped out there. Hmm. Yeah, this person's realizing who you are to them. Maybe they weren't fully awakened before and they they didn't realize that you were you were like I said you were meant for me and I was meant for you it's almost like this was supposed to happen but all these people got in the way and you took their five swords and you raised them to the six swords that's why they failed because you left the demons in the dark and now, boom, boom, here come the tower. Here come the tower. I feel like I feel like somebody with the nine of cups popping out here a couple times. Somebody's definitely drinking too much. That's why they failed, because they let the spirits take over, and they were very, very materialistic people here. So whatever venture they were, they were. Uh, intending for this empress it failed miserably because of the integrity of the empress over top of the comicville energies this king of cups and king of wands is collaborating Whatever they invested in here, it failed. They were they thought they were I feel like I feel like these two people thought they were gonna get rich off of a Knight of Wands. That's a good time, not a long time, babies. And it wasn't sustainable and they regret that. Queen of Wands, you know, energy like doesn't have to be a fire sign. But yeah, somebody's finding out the truth. I feel like I feel like it's like everybody's finding out the truth. Like I said, star energy here twice. I feel like everybody's finding out the truth and somebody's tattling. The tattletale. On the on all three of them. On a King of Cups, on a king and queen of wands while the empress sits over here on her throne and just allows things to unfold as they as they do no way king of cups The King of Cups is bringing in a solid offer to an Empress. And like I said, if you're an Empress, you're an Empress. You know, somebody's making you juggle your pinnacles in the background because they want power over you. That, that That's what they're trying to do here. They might have a lot more money than you do, or they pay people to do things while they sit there and drink their themselves into to oblivion but that's causing this failure to happen in their life and somebody's going to be exposed a secret society a secret 
Some kind of secret society is about to be exposed. For what? For what? Possibly blackmail. Those those type of lower vibrational energies of of uh <coughs> excuse me of this. It's on the five of swords. This person is fighting all these people for their money, for their their uh, for their inheritance, which could just be the emperor empress. Three of Cups, like I said, three party situation in Kyrieville in a home, possibly a marriage, trying to keep them from coming towards who? The Empress. So I'm not saying, you know, home wrecker energy or anything like that. I'm saying that somebody's over here minding their business, staying in their own lane, doing their work, maybe having to juggle their pentacles because they're not seeing what's going on behind the scenes with these immature, um, very low vib vibration. And why should she? Why should she see it? I mean, she, she, you know, as an emperor, she's already done the work. There's no reason that she should even have to entertain this. Y'all go party and have a good time. Have a good time with that. That's the way the emperor sees it. You go have a good time with that. Because I got other things to do. I, I got my head down doing my work and I'm in my own lane. Y'all, y'all, I didn't invite none of y'all. I didn't invite none of y'all to my personal party. They are going to be responsible in the immediate future for what they've done here. I just had justice there too. So justice for the star and the lover who got played, possibly maybe even married this person. Now, I do feel like there's cheating going on on both sides of this relationship because the three, three of cups, five of wands, five of, five of cups, and the five of swords. That's what the big fight's all about. So, maybe their person slept with one of their friends or vice versa. We have the star again in the immediate future. So, that's three times the stars come out here with... with the lovers, which is Gemini, and there's the Eight of Wands. You will be, ex you will be getting a, a call, text, email, whatever it is, from this person because they can't sleep. They're so hardcore, pressed, and stressed, and bound to this Ten of Wands. If they need somebody to talk to, it might be you. All right, it might be you. Whether you want anything to do with this person or not. I mean, there's the Ace of Pentacles. Somebody doesn't want to get out of your energy. They want to be able to stay in your energy. Perhaps they were benefit benefiting off of it in some way, shape, or form. Maybe they even made a lot of money and you're about to, you're about to get that back. A home, possibly. Why? Because of the swing swing. Possibly your brand new passionate beginning in your work. In your home. What is the Page of Cups and the Nine of Wands about here? They find you awfully attractive. Shrink, shrink. Outside influences, this person is moving on from their past. Really? Maybe you're moving on from yours too, even if it's a past life and you just remember it.
like I said, you're about to hear from this person. But you may also hear from Comicville. There's the Five of Wands. Like I said, I feel like whoever these people are, I feel like they're all going to try to come at, come at you at once. Maybe a lot of people need to apologize for the magic they did over your life. Or the manipulations that they're still trying to do or bring to your door. I don't feel like you're going to engage or entertain these people no matter what it costs you. Because the truth is the truth. You are who you say you are. Can't nobody do anything about that. Not even this King of Cups. This King of Cups is finding out the truth, though. That the Ten of Pentacles always was with the Empress. Even if all these comic energies were trying to manipulate it, it was always the Empress. And I'm going to get, I have to give them an E for effort because man are they trying. Look at all this. Look at all of this. This is, like I said, this is some kind of secret society. All grouped together. Lying. Stressing. Maybe possibly getting locked up with the Eight of Swords there. And the Nine of Swords twice. Somebody's scared of their future. Because of what was done here. And they are deeply sorry and, and in regret. Because whatever this truth, this is, and this is going to be different for everyone. It's coming out. It's coming. It's coming. I, I feel like this month with all these tens. Ten of pentacles twice. Ten of wands in the immediate future. Ten of cups a couple times. I feel like it's coming out this month. And, and there's an ancient Egyptian awakening happening. Trying to stop you from shining. Oh my gosh. Secret society lying about you. They're going to be exposed here. Protection. Ancestral. Oh, they didn't realize you had a... You had a... a, a high-ranking and ancestral line and they're running scared after trying to manipulate you because a queen or king doesn't beg or fight for a position they've earned their crown so they're fist fighting with fire passion desire third-party situation and an unclear decision whoever this person is that, that is trying to make this decision they are like I mean, look, immediate future. Yeah, walking away. Somebody wants to leave the world behind. They want to leave the world behind. Because it's this. <laughs> Can't say as I blame them. But they're trying to figure out how to do it. They still haven't come up with a plan yet. So, no sleep. Stressing, trying to figure out their next move. Who are these people, Spirit? They may need jerk forgiveness. They may need some kind of help here because I do feel like whatever they're facing is going to... That's that's the Nine of Swords twice. There's going to be some kind of new pathway opening up for you, but there's also another pathway opening up for them. And it's basically getting back what they put out. They didn't take an Empress down because that Empress is... You know, all four queens in the deck. 
They thought they were going to be able to make her sick, take her out. Now, I'm not saying that some of you aren't sick because some of you just might be sick from all this manipulation and stress that somebody's been bringing to your door because that definitely will um, deplete you and, and cause uh, illness or, or uh, dis-ease in the body. I feel like these people want you to let them off the hook because they're suffering. I, and 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 you know an empress is always like that they 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 lay it. they might not talk to them anymore or engage with them anymore but their unconditional love you know the the love of a mother you know no matter how bad you are i still love you but it doesn't mean that i'm going to hang out with you you know pathway it's bouncing back bad health and they're expecting it to bounce back because they know they screwed up they know they screwed up because it's, it's, it's hitting them like a ton of bricks and I feel like it's 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 some form of illness it's some form of uh, they fell for the trick of the devil about the star like I'm gonna give you fame and fortune and this and that and the other houses cars you just gotta give me your soul some people don't think that's a very valuable thing but some of us know better seduction don't want you to find out about this third party, that's for sure. Chaser, paradise, runner, and single. So that should, that should explain everything right there. So we have a chaser in a codependent relationship. They're chasing paradise. Because that's what they... Almost paradise... And then you got somebody else running away from it. Bye. And then I feel like this is you over here. Sitting. <laughs> Being happily single, living in the moment. Talking to your friends, living your life. While all these people are sleeping with each other. Causing more chaos in their life than they absolutely need. Over money, fame, things that are just in the 3D. Things that are not the thing that matters. And that that's the secret society. They're all fighting each other. While you're sitting over here going la la la. Y'all can keep those towers. Don't want them. Don't want them. And they're stressed because, because you're not engaging in this. You're not, you're not even giving it a chance. And like I said, there's runner and chaser dynamics going on through, all through this mess. While the Empress is over here keeping her head down, staying in her own lane and chilling. Choose wisely as prosperity begins. This is what they were fighting you for. They were fighting you for whatever this new, new awareness is. Look, one, one, one. 711. This new awareness about love beginning. Ace of Cups. Wisdom and rejoicing in celebration. So, this person knows whoever they are, this emperor, that they are in Karmicville and that they need to choose wisely their very next step. And that's why they're so stressed. They are so stressed about taking this next step. They're, they're losing their mind. Because this is cl they're, they're not unclear. They just know that their whole life is falling down around them. They don't understand that it's just mirroring back to them what they sent out. 
That's why the crumble is happening. That's why the end is coming for this person. And I'm not saying like the end of the end. I'm just saying, you know, a lot of their stuff in their world is crashing around them because it wasn't right to start with. Somebody got tricked. Got tricked by the devil. And that's what they invested in. Now they're seeing that it was all it was all an illusion. It was all a trick. Yeah, I can't make it up. Choose wisely. Prosperity begins. Seven one awareness. And love begins. Seven one one one. Then we had the runner chaser dynamic with the happily single person over here on the side. And whoever the you are, you already know what's up. You already know what's up. Somebody didn't keep a promise here. Or that's what they're trying to work on. They know that they have to keep a promise. But there is Popo involved. Because, yeah. Burning evidence. They got no reason to hate you. They're trying to keep you private. You're trying to keep a person... Yeah. Because they're just putting on some kind of karmic show. While trying to set the record straight with you. You're a fantasy to them. Like I said, somebody's drinking too much. And... Going in the boom boom in the room room a little too much with other people. Which they, they don't understand is what is depleting them and causing their their problem. Because I'm not saying, you know, that I'm perfect. I'm not saying that I'm always right. But what I am saying is that every time you go out there and you give yourself to someone, you're leaving a piece of you with them. Whoever this is, they're a little too caught up in that. And they're scattering themselves. And that's why they can't seem to get their shit straight. Because it's some kind of fantasy world. And they think that, you know, touching and all that. Touching, loving, squeezing each other. It's tearing you apart every, every day. You're tearing me apart. Oh, what can I say? Now, if you're willing to fight for what you love, then you're going to put these karmic energies down. You're going to go after what you truly want out of, out of this energy. If you want the Empress, you have to give up these karmic energies that are keeping people in fight or flight mode. Like I said, somebody's setting the record straight, but they, you know, it's like in the, in the background, they got some kind of private relationship. It's all just for show. Now they want to set the, set the record straight with somebody who's just minding their own business? Come on. For real. Leave them alone. If you ain't got no good intention... You just leave them alone. Leave them to, to themselves to, you know, keep their head down, live their life, and make their money, and they're happy. Leave them alone. If you're going to deal with this karmic energy, you go deal with Comicville first, and then come into somebody's life who is stable and, and you know, just wants peace and harmony. I, and I do feel like whoever this person is, could I feel like whoever you are, that's all you want. That's all you want is some peace and harmony in your life and things being functional. It doesn't even have to be paradise. It just has to be functional. Harmony.
There it is. Alright, so I'm going to read this to you. And if you don't like my reading, just switch off. Because I, I really love these cards and I, I like reading them. Alright, so this card says, Tomorrow is a new dawn. And being in our heart center ripples out with positive effect. Harmony is the first shy dragon I met. She was peeking out at me from behind a huge curtain. Magician behind the curtain. When she first appeared to me, she's a quiet and considered being and is a lot less brash than some of the other dragons I haven't encountered. Let me say that again. I asked her about her qualities and she replied, I am a bringer of harmony, restorative on an inner personal level and outer global level. If you are wrestling with a problem that you are unable to resolve, ask her to bring her beautiful harmonious influences to the situation and guide you in any steps you may need to take. If she has appeared in your life today, she asks what area of life needs, uh, needs reviewing. What do you need to let go of? Is it judgment or old habits? What is it your life that in your life that needs reharmonizing? I will assist you in taking those first steps, supporting you as you go. Take some time to, some time to sit and contemplate your life as it is, and look honesty, look, look honest, honesty, honestly. At the way, at what you may require changing. It may be something quite small, just a little tweak, or it could be a life changing event. She goes on to say, The answers you seek all lie within you. So sit quietly, ground yourself, be present, and reflect. Your inner knowing, under my guidance, will help bring the answers to the surface for you. She reminds us tomorrow is a new dawn, and being in the heart center ripples out with positive effect. She will often appear when there has been discord or upset. This can be, their pers be personal or on a global scale. Didn't I just say that? She is the harbinger of change, and her role is to bring harmony to the world. All brand new beginnings, and it is up to each and every one of you to make these choices, to leave these runner-chaser wounds behind and find paradise in the stillness of your heart. time for this drama to be over for an empress here it is over and and somebody failed to communicate properly now they're facing their own karmic justice and I can't say that anything's going to fix that they have to live that out just like the empress did Well, those are your messages, my babies. Please remember to press the like button, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.